everyone, it's Yaya and Slice, and today I'm going to show you, yeah, <laughs> today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do, um, stuff, not stuff, but like, um, sorry, I'm still sick, of course, gosh, um, ah. <laughs> so I'm on my iMac that I got for Christmas, and, um, sorry if there's any background music, but, um, sorry if I keep saying, um, gosh, oh my gosh. <laughs> so, I'm going to show you guys how to do, like, colorful, colorful overlays on iMovie. So, something like this. Um, it's going to be, like, pink, so you'll see. See? See that? It's, like, pink. It's like a pink filter, almost looks like it. But it's really not. So I'm gonna show you guys how to even just spice up your videos. So yeah. Okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up um iMovie. Um. Anyways, you're just gonna get a clip. I'll just get this one. Just get like any clip that you really want, and just press the little plus button. And I'm gonna put no audio on this, so I'm just gonna lower that down. Um. Okay. So now. What we to actually make this like a color you can do whatever color you want to okay so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go on like Google if you want like just pretty much put whatever you want um I'll show you like different ways that you can do this as well so um you could put like tumblr gradient I guess okay so then you have a couple of these the one that I like to use, like a um, is like this one. I don't um, this gradient is just the most known, and a lot of people put that one in their video because it's more vibrant. Um, you can just drag that to your desktop and then take that to your iMovie and just drag it over the clip where you want it. You can have it like right here. You can have it right there where you're starting it from. I'm just gonna have it like. Oh, one second, like, before it starts, so. Okay, so this is what you're going to see if you don't do anything. It's going to be moving, and it's not going to show your other clip. So, to prevent that, you want to click on it, and you want to come here to the crop tool. I mean, if you want it moving, you don't have to worry about this, but I don't want it moving. Um, So, if you don't want it moving either, just come to this crop tool, and... Just crop to fill where you want it at. So I'll put it like right there. So it's going to have pink, blue. So yeah. Because it's like not the right size. So there's like a good measurement in the middle. And these lines, these yellow lines will help you get the center and stuff like that. So it helps. For that, it's going to look like this. So now it's not moving, but now you can't see your clip. So, so if you don't want... To do, see this, you want it to see your video, but yeah. Um, you're, what you're gonna do is come to this um, two boxes video overlay settings, and you have all these, but you don't have to worry about that right now. Um, well, you go right here, it's to the opacity. This is gonna make this less, and you'll see your image right there. So you can put this like that. Some people like it like that. I sometimes like it like that, I guess. But this is what it's gonna look like now. See, so it's like a nice, pretty overlay for your videos. And if you even want, you can do something different. So we could do like this. Hold on. I'm just going to go pickmonkey.com. Pickmonkey is where I do all my thumbnails and all that cool stuff. So, yeah, um, you're just going to go to T-Design, custom, um, 1280. I'm, I know that this is the, whatchamacallit, I know that that, those specific um dimensions are for the thumbnail but for some reason that just really works on my movie for some reason i guess so i just want this to be plain white so i'm just gonna do that just white i guess oh uh, just gonna press i want to save this to jpg okay so then um you can find it on your um what you call it? 
Oh, it's right here. Okay. So, yeah, you can drag it from, um, whatchamacallit, your finder to here as well. Um, just gonna X that out. And, you know, same thing. So, okay, so, okay. So, same thing. You don't have to move this around because, I mean, it might be moving right now, but you just don't know that because, yeah. Um, okay. So, oops, okay. So, go to opacity once again. I'll put, like, that. No, that's it. I do it like that. Okay. So now we'll have something like this. Okay. So I'm going to play it for you guys now. So yeah, that's how you pretty much do overlays. And like, I call my filter overlays because if you think about it, it's pretty much like a filter. So um, yeah, I hope you guys found this um, helpful. Um, if you want to see any other tricks and stuff how I do, that didn't make sense, but if you want to see stuff like how I do stuff on iMovie and stuff like that, um, please comment down below to see anything else that you would like to see. If you guys ever see something that's in my videos and you want to know how to do, just put it down below and I'll sure make a video for you guys. So, bye!